Welcome to NCSSM and congratulations on being accepted. You are embarking on a transformative educational experience. Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Sheck, the Dean of Science. The Science Department has a wide range of course offerings and extracurricular opportunities. You will find that there is more than you can possibly take advantage of in your two short years here at NCSSM. In this video, I will give you an overview, but you can find more detailed information on the NCSSM Registrar's page. First of all, the graduation requirement in science is one semester of biology, two semesters of chemistry, and two semesters of physics. You also have an additional graduation requirement of a STEM elective, which could be a course in science, math, engineering, or computer science. Of course, we are delighted if you choose to take more than the minimum number of courses in science. Please refer to the Course Pathways document to see how science courses connect to each other. Everyone will take placement tests in chemistry and mathematics. We will use these tests and your prior coursework to determine your core placements in chemistry and physics. For example, you might place into Chem 3500, Atoms and Molecules, which is the first course in the chemistry sequence. If you take chemistry as a junior, you will start with Chem 3500, Atoms and Molecules. After that, you will have a choice of how to complete your chemistry graduation requirement. You could take Chem 4000, Reactions and Energy, which has the complete coverage of chemistry topics. Or, you could opt to take a more specialized course, such as organic chemistry. The same is true for physics. If you are placed into Physics 3500, Mechanics, after you complete that semester, you may take Physics 4000, Electricity and Magnetism, or a more specialized course, such as Waves and Optics. All of these choices have consequences, and you will find that you can't fit into all the courses you might want. That's okay. What we want to do is prepare you for college and position you to take college courses in your field of interest. But it is worth your time to do some advanced planning. I advise you to use the worksheet we provide at Welcome Day to sketch out several coursework scenarios for your time at NCSSM. Another word about placement. Your chemistry and physics placements are determined by your 10th grade status. These are our recommendations for what is appropriate for you as a junior at NCSSM. Let's say you're placed in Physics 3500, but you take physics in your senior year. You have the option to request the next highest level, Physics 4020, as a senior. With a year of science and math classes under your belt, you are more prepared to take the next highest level with the permission of the Dean. You can read more about placement in the Chemistry and Physics FAQs. Let's say you've already had a class in Physics, Chemistry, or Biology. You might qualify for an exemption. It is possible to be exempt with an AP score and in some cases an exemption test during orientation week. If you are approved for an exemption, you still have to complete five semesters of science, but you have some flexibility in how you complete it. Please read the exemption guidelines document for more information. Aside from reading the documents on the registrar's page, there are some deadlines for you to be aware of. All the deadlines for academic programs have been compiled into one convenient pre-flight task list. The science deadline you all need to be aware of is the chemistry placement test. You will take this one hour online test in May through your Canvas account. At this time, we will also ask you to identify your priority science. Priority science is the subject you are most interested in and would like to start taking in your junior year. Think carefully about this and look ahead to the prerequisites. If you want to take an advanced course in your senior year, you will need to complete the prerequisites in your junior year. You can only prioritize one science course, biology, chemistry, or physics, and you cannot change it once you have made the choice. Another science deadline is for the online physics review. This is optional. 
only students who have had a previous physics class and want to qualify to take AP Physics C for their graduation requirement should do this. Registration is due in the first week of May. The review course must be completed by the end of May. You can find more details on the physics FAQs. The last science deadline is for the Summer Science Online course. This mini course is a review of basic physical science. It is a good refresher and helps you to know what your teachers expect. It can be completed over the summer between June and August. NCSSM offers so many opportunities. I know that it is hard to absorb all of this information at once. We encourage your questions on Welcome Day and we look forward to having you drop in at our Zoom information sessions prior to course requests. Please be reassured that no matter what pathway you take during your time at NCSSM, it will be the living and learning experience of a lifetime.